breakfast time. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're just getting feeding done. We got one load left. So you know how you've always wanted a sponsor? You always ask for a sponsor. Uh -huh. you, today you got one. Oh. Today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe. They're my sponsor. Yeah. Thank you. We're taking a day off from harvest. We're almost done, number one. It's Sunday, number two. And we didn't want to get set up on another bin because it might rain. So instead, Dad and I are planning on working on the new concrete over there, putting in some, just putting the fence back and getting the whole cattle working area back together. Ellie, you got food up in the garage. Also, I haven't talked about this. They had a little bit of concrete left over. And they put it right there and that's really awesome because water just sits there and that gets deep and it gets stanky and then you accidentally step in it trying to get into the tractor and then you fill your boot with stank water Whew, that is not good many of you know that my grandma had a farm sale recently and if you were wondering the farm sale went really good and we actually bought the grain vac and so that's going to help us especially with that bin that we filled yesterday on the other side of this barn because the last like thousand bushels there's really no way to get it and so we'll be able to suck it right out and we got a couple a couple of the bins at Jeff's place at the north farm it just doesn't work very well and so we'll be able to just suck it out and not have to put in the uh, the really heavy but also slow sweeps that go in the bin that you got to carry in manually so we're excited to own a little piece of equipment from my grandparents and it's also going to be a very useful piece of equipment for us So we got our nice Milwaukee tools here. We're gonna be uh, simply safe. When you want to simply be safe. How's that? That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Cause we're gonna be <laughs> putting the fence back up. We might have to cut some. Um, it, I really wish the wind would go down. It'd be a, it'd be like a fantastic day if there wasn't dust constantly hitting me in the eyes. Going with the clear vision today, cause the sun's not out. So that'll be a different look for me. Every, uh, fans. <laughs> Yeah, so if you can't recognize Brian, he's just got these ones on, not the not the black safety glasses. Yeah. So if I look a little heavier than usual, it's the glasses magnifying, you know, how I look. They're just making, Plus the YouTube puts making on me puffier. 58, 5 pounds. 58? 55? 58, yeah. 60, yeah. 90? 100. Hundo. <laughs> oh, I've got a problem. What's that? These glasses. Uh-huh. They're rubbing on my abnormally lush eyelashes oh so that's bothering me a little bit so if it slows me down a little because you know i don't want to trim my eyelashes because i've been growing them out uh-huh first thing we're gonna do is the easy part of course we just got to slap up the uh continuous that they took down to pour it's got me cold. It's got We're just procrastinating. We don't really want to do this that bad. All right. I think this is a lot better if we go get some ice cream first. Oh. Can we just not do this? Because of the sugar will give us energy. Yes, and then we wouldn't actually be doing this right now. Okay. What next? That one? Okay. These these are a little deep now. Uh -huh. Deeper than I like, but I suppose when they start filling up with a little dirt, we're gonna need that to have some uh, new word of the day, gription. Gription. Have some gription. Gription. And they're sitting over there, so we gotta carry them over, I guess, and slap them up. So we'll get that one that's. tough time uh well so we're getting pinched down there because that thing or basically that bar is in the way and then we uh already fastened it down there and we don't want to unfasten it because that just you know makes things 
looser plus it's more work but we think we have to we really got to get this into here oh other way back my way i know the way get it yeah shout out bronx firehouse i really like these shirts they fit well i feel like i look pretty dang good in them we need a break. It's break time. Right, Ellie? Yeah. So while we're taking a break, we got a big box here. I was setting it up. Ellie helped me a little bit. She, uh, the lack of thumbs didn't help much. Simply Safe is a home solution. Basically, well, right here we got a glass break. It's, I mean, it's for, it's simple and it's safe. There's all kinds of sensors, like this one's an entry sensor. It lets you know if someone opened a door. On the box it says set up in less than an hour. Honestly, it took me even less than that. It's monitored 24 seven. My favorite sensor that they have, really interesting. I, don't, I feel like most home security systems don't have it, but they have a water sensor. And my dad is always asking me, hey, have you checked the sump pump lately? Cause we got a finished basement. One time dad woke up in the middle of the night and he was like, man, I feel like I haven't heard the sump pump in a while. And of course it was filling up just dad senses. So that's kind of my most favorite, of course, next to the camera, which helps you keep watch across your house wherever you decide to place the cameras. This is the water sensor. So it says just push the button. Sensor. Oh, it, I heard it. Basement. Sump pump. That's that's the thing. Water sensor. Name. Well, that was easy. One interesting thing about the unit is that it not only alerts you if there's like an intruder or something like, like they also have a freeze sensor here. If a window was broken and it was letting in cold air, they actually alert the police. So the police will come to your home and check out what's going on. Setting it up, of course, is really easy. Simply Safe actually won the best home security system of 2020. If you want to check that out, links below, Simply Safe, really easy setup has tons of sensors glass break motion sensor a keypad comes with it they also have a doorbell camera so they they have everything i never know if the fridge did that or ellie i'm guessing the fridge or maybe it was brian oh we broke the bowl. Okay. what the billy heck i got a little <sighs> what'd you say about that I got a hot nut here. Oh man, something's burning. That should be somewhat strong. I think if we got two bolts in here fighting, going around, and then they slam into that, that'll hold. I mean, you got your, your two long screws, and then you got four leg bolts in there, leg screws. I discovered that that was a grade two bolt in our grade, grade two in our grade five bolt bin. Here's a grade five, oh. so we won't have that trouble. Right there. on, that cheap, cheapo grade two. Guys, here's a nice knee pad for yeah, when you're out working. Uh, glove, glove. Okay. You can't move that chain at all. No, oh. that's, that's up cool. again there now. That's going to take some doing. Dad had the awesome idea. We just drill a hole through here, put a bolt in, and that'll hold it up. Oh wow, like a glove. Since the concrete's higher, this is no longer useful, so we're going to chop that up. So we're stopping at the South Farm quick. Of course, feed corn, but also we need one of those panels. And then from here, Dad is gonna take the trailer. He's gonna get some plywood at Menards, which we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna head back home, start setting posts, digging holes, setting posts. Wind picked up even more. I want the fancy lid breaking off. We got four to do, putting four poles in the ground. My goal is to get this done before dad gets back because I know he doesn't really like it, it's not a fun job, but also he's bringing back food which may or may not be Arby's, so it's the least I can do really. So we're gonna do one here, about there, there, and there, just four of them. I'm gonna tamp them in quick. That's kind of the crappiest part of the job. So 
I really want that post to be sucked up as close to the concrete as possible. So I'm going to kind of square it out and I didn't want to peel up the concrete, of course. This one got a little close. You can see I brushed up against it. That would just be heartbreaking if a big chunk just pulled up and cracked. Now for the fun part. Now if you've never been around this before, this is what we call a tamper. It basically, it pushes the gravel everywhere or whatever you're using as a filler. It basically just packs everything. You know, especially when you have big rocks that get in the way and there's air pockets, you don't want that. So it pushes the rocks in, it pushes the smaller grain stuff around the rocks. It just makes it so this thing's solid. I'm getting so much dust in my eyes. Look in the distance. Looks like the dirty 30s out here. We desperately need a rain. How's that look, huh? Dry out here, you could say it's drier than my love life. Okay, we just gotta do that last one, that third one right there. Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. I mean, look at this one. It's touching the concrete. You can't be much better than that. Second one, pretty close to my line. Looking pretty decent, I'm out of breath. There's stuff in my eyes. I'm complaining, but we're almost done. All right, so I piled some dirt on the backside. That way there's not that big ledge. Plus, you know, so the fence is gonna be here. And if a critter were to step down and then get on, you know, that high concrete up here, get on the left side of that, and then just there's a bar from the fence right there, that wouldn't be good. So having that dirt right there will keep that from happening, won't put any of their legs at risk. So when dad gets back with the particle board, we're gonna lay that across first, and then we're gonna put that that 20 foot slab of concrete, not concrete, 20 foot, 20 foot piece of continuous on top of that. That way the cattle don't see through it and get scared when we're walking around back there and it also keeps them flowing better. Well, that's done, which is awesome. I, hopefully I please my father. Oh, do you have the virus? Yeah, dad's back. Hopefully he doesn't hate my job. Looks like they're in the ground, right? And uh, that's what we talked about, eight foot, eight foot, and four foot. I see you turned that one post and I'm sure you have a reason for that. Yep. All right, I just ate a lot of sandwich and it was good. Before we get working on that, we're gonna take this gate down because since that concrete's higher when we open it in, it starts hitting. So, and we obviously need to make it so there's not a big change in uh, ground level. So we're gonna move that, throwing some crushed rock, get it up out of the ground and go from there. Looks like we're getting somewhat to the end. We just gotta set that gate back in and fasten it up. And then we also got the big gate that goes right there, which hopefully still fits. Mm -hmm. You know, if the measurement's different now because of the concrete or something, oh boy. that would be not, not ideal. Tell you what, Dad, this just looks foreign, you know, it doesn't look anything. The gates are all in the same spots, it's just this concrete, and this has never looked so fancy before. Take that big gate, set it right here. Dad and I are gonna take a little drink break, a little drink. And in three and a half hours, we got live. Oh yeah, because... We're getting away a tractor. Well, yesterday we meet, we met 100,000, and so of course this video is a little delayed because we had some ready. And actually, I kind of wanted to address that because in some of the videos, well, I guess you already saw them if you watched them, but 
like I had mentioned, like, all right, we're getting close to 100,000, but like now we're there and those videos haven't gone up yet. Yeah, so that's probably behind. confusing for you. We're about a week behind on these videos because we're doing so much these days that we're, um, he's got so many in the pipeline. Well, with we're, harvest, you know, they're, they're better videos. And once it gets colder and we have less to do, it's just, I might as well make videos while I can. making five videos a week and showing three. So it's getting backed up a little. <laughs> This is gonna be awesome guys having heifers and letting them come out here and loaf in the day during the day and not be inside the building and Not getting it all muddy being able to load cattle Not in the mud and get heifers up in the barn that are gonna calve And then loading out, you know, it's a start Just keep improving every year if we can Okay, we're getting to the end. We got the gates in. One issue is when we open, when we swing this big gate over here, so imagine the gate's here, the end of the gate. If a, if a critter runs into it and bends it back this way, they'd keep going until it starts torquing, and then they might bend something or break something. So we always have we always have a railroad tie in the ground over here so that gate can come around and hit, hit there. Otherwise, sometimes somebody's going to take it and just bend it all the way and turn it into a U or something. That guy could use some sunshine. I hope that wasn't the most boring video watching us put our corral back together. At least it looks nice. Back along there we're actually going to use freestanding panels, windbreak panels, and see how we like that for the first year. And if we want a permanent fence we'll put one in, it won't take too long. We've been working cattle the last couple years, especially with this barn shedding water right on top. It's just been a mess. And now, especially when we're moving baby calves out and they you know, don't always walk the best, they're young, just don't have their bearings very well. It'll be nice keeping them out of the mud. And I, I think this just looks amazing. So now we have that there, so cattle won't hit that and bend that hinge in the corner. Got something done. Thanks for watching. Next video, we should be working on finishing up corn. It's gonna take about two more days. We'll have two more videos of corn harvest. Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me get to 100,000. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out Simply Safe if you're interested in a home security system. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. What? Well, you know, I've been working on that homemade cloning machine. Uh huh. Well, this morning I tried to, I thought I'd try to clone Ellie. And uh, right when I was gonna zap it with the laser, lap zap Ellie, she jumped up with her paw and she spun it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shot through the kitchen window. Oh, no. Can you go check on Ma? Yeah. Mom, you okay? Yeah. Oh, my gosh.